crash. We are at camp. This is like my favorite part about duck hunting is uh, is the setting up camp and working remotely. Thankfully, uh, we've gotten a good start to the early season goose and ducks open tomorrow. So we were scouting this morning. We found a, a nice feed, ducks and geese. And uh, this is a little preview of our camp. This is my little workstation here. Mitch just cooked up some breakfast. Scouting begins with a traffic jam. Why do I always gotta yell in the camera? Working combine driver, hogging up the road on my flower, chugga lugga lugga five miles an hour. I'm an international harvester. That's all that always reminds me of that song. That is unreal. Oh boy. What's the date? September 24th? Welcome back to Mitch's Kitchen. <laughs> We're at another small town, North Dakota campground. And Mitch is still a carnivore. With some onions and some onion uh, mushrooms. Cast yep. iron over the fire. We got a nice little spot here. You really want to use a little boat, but all my boys want to hunt fields. Oh yeah. Two shot? Oh yeah. Three inch? No! Well, good morning to ya! This is the, uh, this is the back road to get on the X. We're gonna smack them. Feeling fantastic. <laughs> yeah? What time did you drive out here? Oh, uh, 1 a.m. Oh. We left Fargo at 12.30, I think, so. Oh, boy. Nothing like a... Why did you do that? Well, you know, the good <laughs> thing is, you know, we, we left Fargo You had to wait till your girlfriend went to bed. Yeah, no, we, we left Fargo at 12.30. We're like, oh, it'll, it'll be fine. We'll get a couple hours of sleep. But then we drove out to where we want to hunt, and it just, it's going to be perfect. So, uh, so we get all excited, you know, we yeah. get the, the blood. Oh, we got to put the plan together. Yeah, so, so we were up for another two and a half hours. So we went to bed at about 4.15, 4 4.30 last night. What time is it again? Oh, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, it's an hour. So. Morning. Then I get Nathan knocking on my damn window at 5.30. So. Nathan was up before me, so. Yeah. He's a little fired up. I didn't bring it, so. There's a rooster, you hear the rooster crawl? Oh. Uh. Oh yeah. Ready to give her? Oh, we're ready to give her. Oh yeah. Morning ducks. <laughs> Good girl. What do you got? What do you got? Oh yeah. <laughs> she brought you a hand too. Here's a Susie for you. Here he is. Oh yeah. Another day, another dollar. <laughs> All right, so what did you see here yesterday morning? Yesterday morning, I mean, we saw a couple thousand mallards in here. Looked like it was freaking October, but it's 
you know, opening day is September 26th, I think. So I don't know. We, we got a lot of ducks around. It's gonna be great. We got a lot of a lot of people pulling the trigger today too. Are we are we at like 11 now? 12? Yeah, it's not the right. This now. might count as a small militia if somebody sees us in town. <laughs> What's the what's the what's the decoy spread here? We got a pond behind us. Yeah, we're we're setting up mainly for the ducks to go on the pond right away in the morning. That's you know that's what they always do, especially with it being 65 degrees out. They're not looking for feed necessarily right away, bright and early. So we're gonna hopefully whack our limit right away, right off of the right off of the pond and shoot some bonus honks maybe out of the field. I don't know. We'll. Somebody busted the roost. We're a half hour before shooting light. We're ready to. I think we're at shooting light here. Oh, well, we are, yeah. We got competition caller Mike here. <laughs> this is a this is a sick spot though. The water in the back. The honkies in the front. So we are out here hunting with a small army. Tell us, how far did you drive for this? Oh, about five hours. Five hours from Dickinson to Fargo to the X. Love it. It's all worth it. Well, we got ducks right up there. Okay. Well, it's working so far. Let's fucking hide. People are still shooting. <laughs> well, we're out about 10, 15 ducks. Yeah. Close to that. Probably about 10 geese. But somebody, a uh, big body of water behind us, decided to jump the roof today. No bueno. Massive slew right over here. These guys are just hammering them over there. This is where they were feeding last night. I haven't seen nearly the amount of ducks you saw yesterday. But so far the geese are doing it better than the ducks today. But we do not mind one bit. We got 11 guys out here. And the flagmen are not quit. Is that Joe Heinz? Is that, is that Joe Heinz? It's not? I thought you guys said we were gonna shoot ducks. <laughs> Yeah, is your gun clean enough to cycle rounds? Yeah, it's clean enough now. Three years. I used my stoker for two years and blow up the barrel. You don't clean yours. Yeah, cowboys. Yeah, that might be uh, too many pintails. Too many pintails for the boys. Got him! Ehaw! And we're 
<laughs> we got an 11 man of pintails already, which is uh, 11 pintails. <laughs> North Dakota limits. Uh, but uh, they're doing it right. It's, a, it's always a good problem to have when you gotta stop and double check what you're shooting at. I mean, you should always do that, but unless it's a cool thing. The thing that's nice about hunting with uh, hunting with 11 guys is a little bit less pressure to actually shoot birds. So, snacks, easy to accommodate. Cream cheese, pickle, in the blind, no problem. I'm not sharing either. The classic walk back to the pickup, reflecting on your on your efforts. A lot easier to walk back when you shoot 60 some birds, you know? It oh yeah. Makes it a little bit better. We gotta do it every hunt since uh, Noah and Dayton scouted it. They gotta answer them. All right, so what was what was it like last night? I don't know, I wasn't out here last night. No. You were out here last oh, night. Oh, so, shit, all right. So it was nuts last night. What was it like when you found the field? Honestly, we couldn't figure out how to get to the field. We had to drive on a old pasture road grass up to the hood yeah you know, that was it, sketch it was a nightmare but um yeah we found a way out we walked out about a half mile and it just a tornado of ducks out here it was insane so. not many geese but i mean we shot some of those too so I think yeah i was surprised at how many geese actually flew over and gave us a shot yeah. so what was the plan and what did we do right well we knew we wanted to get on this pothole we had looked at it on satellite we didn't know exactly because it was a hill blocking them and we didn't want to bump the birds so we just kind of looked on satellite and we figured out a you know a semi game plan and then we walked out here this morning at four in the morning and figured <laughs> out exactly what we wanted to do so and uh so what do we end up with how many geese ducks uh looks like we got two more geese so 29 geese oh. 42 ducks so nice 29 geese 42 ducks 71 birds 71 birds 11 guys so what could we have done better because what would our, our limit have been with a small uh, army that we had today uh, I think we with our two bonus teal would have been like 96 ducks i think 96 yeah. ducks would have been our limit and then the geese would have been 96 geese 96 too, geese so. so what could we have done better i mean honestly it's september you know yeah we only have so many. Oh, no, birds excuse department, no one's speaking. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, what, could, what could we actually have done better, do you think? Um, I mean, honestly, we probably could have hit a little better. We could have went in the cattails instead of being on the edge. But yeah. We didn't want to stand in the mud. No, we didn't. We were real comfy. I had blind snacks today pickles, cream cheese. Yeah, so I mean, probably could have hit a little better. The decoy spread, I. I think it worked out fine. I'm not gonna lie, I probably could have shot a little better, so. Yeah. Well, we are back at camp. We got uh, quite a few ducks and geese to clean. Good first morning of uh, the 2020 uh, duck season. Probably would have been in 100. For what time is it? Um, 7.18. 7.18, so we're about a half, 20 minutes after shooting light. We got, how many birds now? Uh, we got one, two, six, I think. Got a limit. One man limit down. It's kind of nice not shooting with uh, you know, 10, 15 guys like normal. Yeah, it's uh, like, a little I more like engaging. Small groups. Yeah. A good talk for socializing. You guys are playing on your damn phones. No, me and what? Mitch were talking about Bruhala and the number one rule is everybody <laughs> love everybody here. Ducks haven't really been flying, so now we're arguing here. Because we're not paying attention. Is that a goose? Is it a cormorant? We're not even paying attention. Holy crap. North Dakota says uh, one pintail apiece. We're 20 minutes into shooting light and uh, we are limited on pintails for the second day. Good news is the uh, population bounced back. Well, 
Well, Dayton, thanks for the hustle. Yeah, tough luck. Brown ducks are brown. Ducks. You're sitting in here and Noah just goes, Dayton will not let a bird go. Can't go around. I think we're at like 17 birds now. It's about 10 a.m. The wind has not let up. He hasn't really gotten his uh, cotton top quite yet. First weekend and we're getting some nice weather. We have the best retriever we've ever brought in. Hold it up. Just get down, Mitch. It's raining like hell now, and we don't want to get stuck uh, in the field with the pickups. So we're gonna call it a little short of our limit. Ducks are still flying, but uh, we're getting we're getting drenched, and so is the field. So we made the executive decision that it's time to call it. But it was a damn fun day. Shot a lot of nice ducks. All right, guys, that's the end of this uh, North Dakota duck opener weekend. We ended with uh, close to 100 birds on the weekend. Yeah. Uh, two different hunts, had a great time. Um, and uh, yeah, subscribe. <laughs> so this is the part they don't show you on these YouTube videos is uh, nine o'clock on a Sunday night at your apartment complex, your girlfriend's apartment complex cleaning birds um, could have planned this out better but that's kind of the way she goes uh, yeah we shot 91 birds this weekend split them up between the groups that we hunted with uh, we already cleaned a bunch yesterday and I got these left four left to clean and uh, as much as it gets to be a part of the process we don't always look forward to um, we are excited about actually eating ducks and geese we do it a lot of different types of ways that's a weird way to say we cook wild game, but um, we're gonna be sharing ways that we um, cook geese, ducks, um, pheasants, fish, those kind of things. Um, actually harvesting wild game is one of the, one of the specific topics we're gonna highlight on. Uh, and we're excited to have you guys be a part of the process. All right guys, thank you for watching. We are wrapping up uh, the first weekend of North Dakota's uh, duck season. Uh, we ended up with 91 birds in three hunts, uh, gadwalls, widgeon, mallards, uh, and all of them look brown. It's pretty early. Uh, but uh, if you guys like seeing uh, goose hunting, duck hunting, both over fields, water, uh, this is the channel to subscribe to. Hopefully you'll be learning things along the way, and uh, we'll see you next time.